I've watched you. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as politicians. Mm. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Be, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> what you used to fan mm. uh, uh, charcoal. Mm. <laughs> you, right. You, you've seen it. Right. right. When you fan it, then the charcoal <laughs> bright red. This is a, uh, it's, it's, it's a come for accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you fund government's charcoal to mm -hmm. it's bright it's, red. It's a core and I, I enjoy it. Johnny, first and foremost, let me take this opportunity as God. I haven't seen you for quite some time. You are doing a very good job for the mother Ghana. Remain undaunted. This our society. Right. And it will take me and you to mm. do it. That's why I always watch Johnny's bite. <laughs> the general watches Johnny's yes, bite. Very, every day. Thank I you very much. And I is devoid of insults. Mm -hmm. But straight to the point, mm. factual and fearless. Rahim. Hey, Charlie, no be joke. Oh. You know, the be pressure joking. people like Johnny can give you. No, no. You know, get gray hair, you I'm, get gray I'm, hair. I'm innocent. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Now, the pressure Johnny and his people, <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you know, get gray hair, you go get. So, your best bet is not mm. to have hair. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. The Lord is my light. By salvation, whom shall I fear? And here, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The road and the staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. <clears throat> and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Last year in June, and I have great information that we'll be launching... A green Ghana day again, second year. We spent 12 billion CDs of our Ghana money. John Abu Jinapo and his people, Mr. Alote, at the uh, what the first first commission promised us that we're going to plant trees to green Ghana. We spent 12 billion of our money. Question. Where are the trees? It's a simple question. If they planted the trees, and after uh, at almost one year, because we planted them in June, 11 June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, we are going to do another launch in March. Where are the trees? Sensible people should be able to go and do a documentary on the trees, take photos, pictures. So this is what, because me, I went to plant trees in the north. I monitor it every single day. My name is on those trees. So you went to plant trees. You collected Ghana's money. You told us you are in charge. You planted those trees. You criticized Sada and Jida. He said people cut trees and planted trees. Now you have planted trees with 12 million. No problem. Where are the trees? Because from TV3 all the way to Circle, where are the trees? And don't tell me that the trees that were planted as part of the construction of the uh, Circle Dubai are your trees because the trees were planted already as part of another contract. I had a contract. So where are the trees? John Abu Jinapo, if you are his friend, call him. I like for young people to be given positions, but I'm asking, you are going to do another launch on Wednesday, 1st March. My question is, the money that you spent to plant the other trees, where are they? Where are the trees? Where did you plant the trees? Have you monitored the growth of the trees? Or you are just interested in spending poor people's money in planting trees. The trees that you planted, where are they? I've asked a simple question. No insult, no intimidation, no attack, blah, 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 blah. I know they will come and attack. When they come, hashtag them and bite them too on your pages. Where are the trees that you spent 12 million to plant? Where are they? 
You told us you are going to plant trees. Ornamental trees. Da 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 da. Different species. Blah 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 blah. You told us. June last year, 2021. We are in 2022. By now the trees would have matured. Because I asked that question three months after I planted the trees. Nobody answered the question. So now I'm asking you, where are the trees? Show us pictures. Show us videos. And you people are experts in doing drone shots and showing us. And, and, and you know, interesting, they, they put on their Facebook pages. So they can say that, oh, last Saturday, I was with the minister of da-da-da-da-da. We took advantage and do the da 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 They write all those things on their Facebook pages and sponsor the post in dollar. Not in CD, in dollar. Now you have planted trees. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Nine months. Where are the trees? That's all I'm asking. So if you know Abu Jinnapur's number, call him and ask him, where are the trees? We must get value for money because that, what, that is what Nanado Dankwa Kufado told us on the 7th of January 2017. He says, we will give you value for money and I shall protect the public purse. You see, last week, we talk about Ajwa uh, Asafu. Uh, All the issues that came in Japan after his brain surgery recorded, we have pretended as if we didn't hear it. And government has swept it under the carpet. There were private jets that were hired to bring people in. There were motor kids fueled by your taxes. There were 120K that was paid. All of those ones. And even the allegation that the person who came to vote in parliament that day for the e levy was not Ajua Safu. Special prosecutor is sitting tight. Pretty. IGP Ekufu Dam Paris sitting tight. Uh, Iyoko Boss is sitting tight. Amitiwa. CID Boss is sitting tight. BNI Boss, they are sitting tight. All of them. Let it be Johnny Hughes who says it. They will come, Rambo style. Come and pick you. And that is the hypocrisy. Hypocrisy of our, of our priests now. Peace Council, uh, what do you call it? The, the other one, what's it called? National Peace Council, um, all of them. Christian Council, Peace Council, all of them. The hypocrisy of our people. If it happens in another time, they're happy to report it. And I've shown you my track record that when it was happening under somebody, I didn't care. I went for it. So why are they quiet now? So my question is, where are the trees? John Abu Jinapo, Mr. Lute, where are the trees? You spent 12 million to plant trees last year, June. I'm wearing green today because I support green Ghana. When Ghana is green, the ecosystem is good, the air has quality, blah, 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 da, 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 da. But you spend 12 billion. In the other one. Where are the trees? Answer the question. Before you go and do another lunch and call the president to come and cast sword, where are the trees? That's my first question to you. So if they are your friends, call them and ask them, <clears throat> where are the trees? They spell 12 million of your money. That money, if we don't take that money and we don't account for it, we can get some from the e levy. Where are your trees? First question. Second question Ghana Education Service, GES Accra. Is it true that you are taking monies from people to swap their transfers or their appointments? Because we've, we've been here we complain about teachers. And we said that the government must employ teachers. That they have spent money to train, giving them allowances, blah, 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 all of that. Now, somebody gets a letter from National. The letter comes to you at the regional office. 
and you change it and you collect money from other people and then you reassign them is it true is it not because some of the people who have paid you money they are people we we planted them they have given you money and recorded you so if you chop the money you chop wrong money i'm telling you ghana education service greater accra i'm not talking anywhere else i say greater accra i'm not generalizing if you have taken the money you have reassigned people so let's say peter duncan was posted to sege and alibis was posted to tolong and you decided that you swap uh, uh, alibis so that he comes to greater Accra region and then peter duncan will be running around looking for space we are people among them don't joke with the media house you get problem So, Ghana Education Service, Greater Accra. This is a note of caution. If you are doing that, stop it. Because the reports I'm getting and the letters and the evidence I'm getting, if I put it on this screen and I mention your name, I will insist that you are sacked. So, if you decide that you want to stay in public service, because the president told us on the 7th of January 2017 that public service is not where you go to amass wealth. You serve your nation, patriotism. So I want you to be careful. I've told you. Don't say I didn't warn you. We know you collect money. We know you collect bribe to swap people's postings. And earlier I asked, I said, John Jinapo, sorry, JJ. Samuel Abdullah Jinapo, 12 million. That's how much I'm asking you. You said you planted trees. Me, I planted trees in 2017. I planted trees in 2018 in the north. The trees have grown. They bear my name. It's there. You, you spend government money. You told the president, the president came to cut a uh, sword or dig the ground, whatever it is, that the money goes sweet, the trees will grow. You are going to do another launch in March. The trees you planted, is it not fair as a lawyer? Is it not fair as a patriot, as you call yourself? Is it not fair as a cabinet minister? Is it not fair as an MP? To give us a report of what it is. Now, President Akufuado, good morning to you, sir. They said you have, by a constitutional provision, to give us a message of the state of the nation. You are a lawyer. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. A message of the state of the nation, President Akufuado. You are back from your travels. Ten days, you went to Germany small, went to France small, traveled around small, hired jet. We are not complaining. We know that under your watch, we gave uh, uh, Adjoa Safo, hired jet, Henry Quarty, hired jet, all of them. Then you added 120,000, 120, other dollars or cities, we don't know. You, I shall protect the public purse. You are paying appearance fees. It's okay. The world is watching you. Whatever it is that you have spent, we are simply asking you, eh, simply asking you, Mr. President Kufado, to, as it were, present to us a message of the state of the nation. How we are faring. Because under what we have banned the exportation of uh, cereals, May, Sogum, uh, Billet, blah, 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 blah. But you told us in the last state of the nation address that we have excess and we are net exporter of food. So how does the net exporter of food ban the exportation of food and even have cocoa, not at one city anymore, one city 50 pesos, and even the cocoa is small cocoa, small air. President Kufado. 
President Takufuado. You stood in public, complained about the price of a ball of kinky. Have you seen that the balls are shrinking now? You. You stood and spoke about the price of fuel, President Takufuado. Have you seen the price of fuel? Oh no, I forgot. You don't buy fuel. It's for free. State protocol provided it for you. They'll give you coupons. You even have a V8 that carries your chair around in an air-conditioned V8. You, President Takufuado, I will protect the public as you, 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 President Takufuado, you. There are photos of you and Sarah Bruni circulating. Your government has not denied it. You, President Takufuado, you, this same President Takufuado, you have been on Ajua Safo's knees begging her. If I were president, I would have sacked her. You are keeping her. I shall protect the public purse. And you know why it's, it's difficult to assess you, Mr. President? Because when you go, you speak a rich, rich, contemporary floor. The, the people in the market, they can't understand your English. So I'm asking you, when are you presenting the state of the nation address, Mr. President? January is gone, February is going. When are you waiting for? You are enjoined by the constitution that you lent to present the state of the nation address before or at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. <clears throat> the year has begun. Two months is almost gone. Where is your state of the nation address? The man you emulate, your father and Dr. Buzia, they address the nation. President Akufuado, you have not addressed the nation in 2022. Are you scared of the fuel prices, food prices, transport fares increase, increment, the hardship on Ghanaians? What are you scared of? Because you told the Speaker of Ghana, the eighth Speaker of Parliament, that you are going to address the nation, so he needs to pause his medical consultation. Come. Since he came, what has happened? Danny, play that video for me. That's my last video. Play it for me. Let's go. That the state of the nation could be taken on the 3rd of March 2022. This indicative date has, however, been um, put on ice by us and would duly communicate a new date to the House after we have uh, engaged the presidency. Of course, Mr. Speaker, we are not required to sit on the 6th of March as it's a public holiday and as has been the practice uh, since the day itself is a Sunday, Monday will be a public holiday. Uh, we are not sitting on Monday. Uh, we are expected to be in our constituencies to do constituency work. Apologies for those unworthy words that were spoken on our network. But just to say that that's the uh, deputy leader on the side of the majority indicating to us that the state of the nation address has been postponed. The president of the republic is not telling us what the state of the nation is. His people are crying. He's trying to slap e levy on the people. National service has 559 Ghana cities. Napco people have not been paid. Those who were paid the two months, it, it didn't include the guys at GRAs, most of them, and the guys at Hill Ghana. Transport fares have been increased. The town make hot. The president is not listening. He's traveling around in a higher jet. He's hovering around the world.
And then he goes to UN to go and vote that we are putting sanctions on Russia against Ukraine. But the state of his own backyard, I shall protect the public purse. I will ensure that when what I came to meet one CD to one dollar under President Kufo and President Mahama, it raised small. Today, go and check the dollar. Go and check the pound. Go and check the CD. Go and check the euro. If you are an importer, you are in trouble. And somebody told me in confidence from Guta that, look, all this cancel the benchmark, blah, 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 blah. It's because when we ex import, we pay more, we spend more. So the government is trying to break it. It doesn't make sense, for example, to say you are banning the importation of sugar when you don't have a sugar processing plant. Commander is there. The president has made another promise after five years in, in, in government. Another promise, who? It's not like a reality that's happening. Another promise. Like the promise that we made to the people of La General Hospital. Another promise. After five years in government, you have not gotten sugar. So me, if I wake up and I like tea with sugar, and you say you have canceled the benchmark value on sugar importation, my sugar will be more expensive, or the people who import sugar will go and sleep. Which means that when I want to drink my tea, it's either honey or uh, what's the other one? Bisap or whatever it is. Hey! Nana Kufado. Presido, this is not what you promised us. Oh. You, you promised us better. And we voted for change. We, we voted for change. The question I ask you this morning is, what has changed? So, top three. I'm going. One, the 12 million that we used to plant the trees in June. Samuel Abdullah Ejinapo, Minister for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Lands and Natural Resources. Where are the trees? That's the first question. Where are the trees? When you people came to power, he said you are going to now understand the height of the Galamse fight. To assess it. Meanwhile, President Kovado put together an interministerial committee. And you were deputy chief of staff. Koju Apokuma was there. Sisi Ladapa was there. All of you. You told us that you have fought Galamse up to 95%. Field was 95% down. You came to power and said you are going to, again, you said you are going to now understand what you have solved 95 95% is the AO. It's the AO. That's my first question. Where are the trees? You are going to launch in two days. But I'm asking you, account first. Like Ghanaians are saying, account for what you have borrowed and spent before you come asking for e levy. So, bring the trees. Let's see the trees. Do a video documentary. The way you put your Facebook post. And then I had the opportunity to sit with the president. Da, 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 da. We, uh, this morning, I launched this. Da, 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 da. All of this was bring the trees 12 million it's gonna be your money be our one money two one two president akufado you promised us that you were going to give us a better cd dollar better cd euro better cd pound analysis you even touted dr baumier's experience at the bank of ghana he said when he was de de the deputy governor of bank of ghana you brought him forward and you solve Mohammed's problems. Now you have full charge. What is your story? Number three, you, President Kufado. What is the state of the nation? You are enjoined by the constitution that makes you president to present the state of the nation address sooner. January is 31 days, it's gone. February is 28 days, it is almost gone. When are you presenting the state of the nation address the people of Ghana who voted for you want to know? Don't hide in your corner. Don't travel around. Don't be visiting and doing all those things. When is the state of the nation address? When is it? Good morning.